remove. Today, legally, politically, and socially, womanhood stands in her true light. American intelligence has cast aside the ancient prejudice that held her to be inferior. <laughs> yes, it's going to be part of the video today. It's going to be a quickie. You know, after I saw that, uh, what do we call them? Crap News Network. Reduce that down to initials. Peace on, uh, wearing a mask is freedom. That right. I'll tell you something, guys. I wouldn't fuck a guy that wears a diaper on his face. <laughs> Just saying. I look at him and think, um... Alright. You just left your mommy, so she basically moved the diaper from your ass to your mouth. Hey, the upside is... At least you're not spreading all the shit coming out of your mouth to other people around you that can actually think. So in today's video, <laughs> I told you it was bad. Mosquitoes, bad Florida. I'll show you how I masked my milkweed for his own protection. Be right back. All right, Jake, you ready to rock and roll? Let's go, go out and look at some milkweed. Yeah, sick it. <laughs> get it, get it. <laughs> no sneezing. Sneeze? <laughs> hey, sneezy. All right. Oh, well, I'm about to break the shade here because once I walk around the corner, the sun is blitzing, so I can't quite see the screen. But I wanted to show you something. I have a, another milkweed plant out here. And this is what monarch butterflies feed off of, which are good. You want them in your garden, right? Uh, but <laughs> the problem is their caterpillars stripped the entire plant down. That was about a week and a half ago. Literally down to the stems, not a single leaf left. And, so, oh, there's one right there. Oh, looky, looky. He isn't. Wait, you guys see that? Oh, hi, handsome. Isn't he cute? I'm not quite sure what he is, but he's he's hitting the Biden's flower now. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Isn't that beautiful? Anyway, you see that right there? That's my milkweed. It grew back. I couldn't believe it. Because I, I was so sad. I, of course, I would never kill the monarch little caterpillars that were, be quiet, bird, uh, that were on there munching the crap out of it. But he was little. So they literally obliterated that plant within days. And um, I'm sorry, I had to bend over backwards here. And so what happened was I had to make a mask <laughs> for the plant. I used this. It's actually screen netting. I had extra. See it? It's totally see-through. Eh, look at the butterflies just hanging out with me. I love you, buddy. That's my boy. Um, anyway, so what I did was... And I just took this off. I put my little recycled bamboo poles around here. And I wrapped um, this material around it. And I shielded it. And Jake, get out of there. Hey, come here. Um, in hopes that, you know, the temporarily it could recoup enough to spring back and grow more leaves. and because the thing is, when the when the monarchs laid their stuff and the caterpillars were eating it, <laughs> it actually was going to flower. They obliterated it. But I won't harm them because they're good for the garden. So anyway, I masked it. And it bounced back. And look at this. We had some rain. Look how big the leaves are. That's only in a... Ah, oh, they're so soft too. It's like a... Ooh, they're so beautiful to touch. Anyway, came back that quick. And yeah, you see the mess around here. We got some uh, 
sweet potato. See, it's growing up in the middle here. Got my Bidens, of course. Grows everywhere. All over the place. What else? Garlic chive. They just, they've been hanging out here a few years. It's kind of scrawny now because it's really hot, but he's under my rosemary bush right here. He's an old guy. Look how woody he is. Smells incredible. Yeah, he's old, old, old. And he's big. I cut on him a lot, and he just keeps right on coming back. Anyway, this is a bad one. No good. But anyway, the Bidens here are beautiful. Got the sweet potatoes here. Tomatoes are on their way out right there. <laughs> the amaranth got chewed up by something right there, but that grows. I just let it self-seed. It just pops up wherever it wants. That's my callaloo, actually. Spinach replacement, amazing. Makes grains, can make flour out of it but the leaves are all chewed up. But I let it go, because nothing's bothering this right now. So anyway, it's pretty cool actually how the milkweed and then it got a few extra sprouts right here. See, the sprout back up, came right back, which is incredible because these were bare stems like about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Not a oh, and here's another baby one right there. Can you see that? I can't see it as good as you right now probably because the sun's nailing me. So, yep. And everybody's in, everybody's happy right here in their own little covered ground ecosystem, right? <laughs> Sweet potatoes. Ooh, I'll show you something while I'm here. Let's see if that, let me climb over my little border. Ooh. Actually, I was out here like 15 minutes ago, and there was an iguana. I scared the fucking shit out of him. He scared the shit out of me. I was screaming and jumping up and down the bastard. He was eating the, uh, uh sweet potato leaves. You know what that is? Peanuts. <laughs> Yay for peanuts. But I wanted to find an example. Well, they went to flower. Jake, damn it. Stop it. Hey, come here. Um, They went to flower not that long ago. And what they'll do is... Let me see if I can find an example for you guys. Oh, there's a peanut flower. Let's see if I can... See it? Little yellow guy. He's a little closed up. What'll happen is... These flowers go down, and then they put spikes on the ground, and the spikes on the ground turn into peanuts. That's how they are. Oh, there's a dried up one. But I know I've got spikes everywhere, because this bush actually got this big also in the last month. It's really happy. I got peanuts all over the place here. <laughs> there's the ginger. Ginger. More ginger. That's taro, but the iguana's got to it. <laughs> this thing... Uh, it's a, some of you guys think it's elephant ears. It's not taro. Elephant ears are not edible. But anyway, more ginger. <laughs> I have ginger on the whole property everywhere. There's more uh, amaranth. No, while well, mine is callaloo. It's cool, right? You can get, let it grow big and grain amaranth. It, it, it'll go to seed very, very quickly. But these leaves are amazing. Extremely nutritious. Okay, oh. What kind of bug is that? I don't know what that is. Wait. Am I getting it? There he is. What the hell are you, dude? I don't know what he is, but he doesn't look good. Get the hell off me. All right. <laughs> so anyway, you can cook it, though. This is a great spinach replacement. Super healthy. Yeah, I do it all the time in Jamaica. The big vegetable there. Yep, so, and oregano. Super happy. He's big. He took over the whole planet. He's been living here for almost three years. He's a good boy. He kind of keeps watch. He's like the security guard in the corner, you know. Nobody messes with him, grows around him, except for Jake. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, I wanted to show you the milkweed thing. Because even though the uh, butterfly stripped it down to the bare stem, not a single leaf, uh, this little baby came back. So I unmasked him. He's got enough leaves now and enough side shoots. I think we'll be all right if the monarchs come back and lay their little guys on there and eat the daylights out of them. Because you want that, you know. Some of these things are good, you know, observe what's eating it. And and by the way, the, the monarch caterpillars that are on here, they're actually gorgeous. Look at these alien little bugs on the sweet potato leaf. <laughs> Everybody's doing their thing. I don't know if they're bad or good, but whatever. There's a place for everybody. And all these little Bidens grow in here. I leave them. These flowers here, one of the number one pollinator, pollinating plants for Florida for bees. 
in our state. <clears throat> we need them. Can't pull them out and kill them. And so, once Mr. Milkweed here goes to flower, I'll make a video and show you. He had gorgeous flowers before they obliterated him last month. <laughs> but he's soft and wonderful, and it's a great thing to have in the garden. And by the way, when it's this hot and rainy and all that, they grow very quickly. Everybody should be growing these. Super beneficial for the garden. All the buggies like them. They're all hanging out with me here. All right, so that's that, right? If they tear it down, just mask it temporarily. <laughs> oh, don't get me started. Then rip the mask off and say, you're free. <laughs> Go eat my plant. All right. Love you guys. Stay green. A little wild and dirty doesn't hurt either. Even if they are eating your greens once in a while. Nikki out. Peace.